One of the easiest ways of getting paying clients nowadays in 2024 is to have your own free school community. Why? Because when you have your own free school community, you have a community of people who are interested in the same topic that you're interested in, and they're all in there nurturing each other, so you don't even need to be doing very much nurturing. And then every now and then you come up with a product or a service or an offer of some sort that helps them implement on all the knowledge that you have, that helps them get closer to their ideal dream outcome in regards to this topic. And everyone's happy. They're happy because you're not like pressuring them. You're not having to do all this follow up nurture on them. They're doing it amongst themselves. And then they're also happy because they get to work with you or they get to sign up for one of your programs so that they can get results faster. How do you grow a free school community? Well, glad you asked that because a lot of people don't know how to do it. And I have the answer for you. I have several answers for you. But in this video, I wanna share with you one answer. I wanna share with you one technique that you can use to grow your free school community. And this is a technique that I've used in the past, but it's also a technique that other people have used as well with great success. Like David, for example. Last month, I hosted a challenge within my school community and I said, Whoever can grow their school community by the most amount of members in the next 30 days is gonna win a thousand bucks. And so a bunch of people entered the contest and David won. David got around 800 people to join his free school community using this one technique. Check it out right here, that's what he said. Congrats on winning the growth challenge last month. I'm, I'm happy that I won. <laughs> so uh, how many school users or how many members did you grow by over the past month? It was, I think, 800, and, but it still was growing because uh, I put, put out a lot of content. I, the, the most of the growth I got through content, and right now I'm at 1,200 uh, or 300 that I grew by. What, yeah. was, what was your main tactic for getting people into the community? First of all, I created a, a free product, as I said, a week, eight week volleyball jump program because of uh, I'm my, my target group is volleyball beginners. And uh, yeah, I asked them what they, they want to, they struggle with a lot. And uh, a lot of them wanted to have like a jump program and there was a lot of stuff out there. So I created a good one um, with my knowledge. And I also bought two or three jump programs from from other guys, from basketball guys and other guys. And then I put all the stuff together in one program that for me was what the best for them. So, so you created, uh, a, so you created a, a course, a free course, and you promoted that yes. course on social media? Yes, that's what uh, I did. So and can I see some of the content that promoted it? Biggest or the most su successful one on YouTube, it was, uh, I think, 800,000 clicks. Okay, so you're giving them step-by-step -step instructions. Yeah. And then you're saying free program and bio. That's it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Where's the bio? Yeah, there's a thing on uh, YouTube. They changed it. I think one, they have like this link tree you can put now in the in the bio. So this is like the link tree I have. And then, uh, yeah, now the, the program is here. I oh. have also my, my paid program. Um for like personal coaching, more or less, and then to sponsored things for shoes. Simple, yeah, I really love it. Content yeah. leads to a free program. Yeah, simple. Yeah, I, I like to keep it really simple because also my English is not the best, so I cannot, I mean, it's it's okay, but uh, I don't uh, like to, uh, when I started with, with producing content, I didn't like to do a lot of voiceover stuff. So I tried to manage, um, like a strategy to create videos that are entertaining, but inform uh, also have a lot of information, but also get a lot of clicks. So, um, and I think also because I'm not a native English speaker, it's easy for me to keep it more simple because my English is more simple. So gotcha. maybe that's also a reason, but uh, okay. yeah, I like to keep it really simple. Also, um, and that's maybe it's amazing. It's... And there's a lot of people who have excuses and they say, oh, I can't. I can't make videos. I can't grow a community because I don't have perfect English, but yeah, you're seeing it as a benefit and you're saying, Hey, because my English is not perfect, I keep things very simple. And when I keep it simple, it works. So, yeah, I think it's, it's more, it's easier to reach a lot of people because when you break your knowledge more down, uh, down to the basics and um, make it, and I also uh, watched a lot of successful short videos when I started 
and the most successful one are the really simple simple yeah. one that that everyone understands and that's uh yeah i think my main yeah. strategy cool man yes well, um, yeah thanks for sharing and uh we no problem. in the future how do you want me to send you the thousand bucks via paypal um yeah if it's possible i i just sent you my email yeah send me your paypal email i'll send you a thousand bucks right now